Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at this part and find out what this is. Let's get started. I picked this part up from eBay and it was listed as a yaw rate sensor for a Subaru WRX STI. Uh, it doesn't seem like getting in is going to be very easy. Can't get my fingernails on it. It seems like the top is welded or glued to the bottom so I'm just going to use my clippers and here is seven minutes of me clipping the edges sped up into about 20 seconds or so but eventually I got the entire edge off and we're left with uh, a new problem which is this basically did nothing. So I'm going to try a couple different things. Uh, razor didn't seem to work. Exacto knife didn't really seem to do anything. So I'm going to saw around the entire edge with this jeweler's blade, and that actually did the trick. I was able to pry it open. The inside is actually pretty interesting. There's a couple components in here. One of them is the one we're going to take a look at on the left over here. And uh, there's also a very goopy capacitor. Uh, I really like how much silicone goop they put on there to keep that in place. But uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at this part on the left with the Bosch logo on it. And this happens to be a Bosch accelerometer. This is some other part. I don't know what it is. And something else. I didn't look up either of these. So you can do that on your own time because we have other stuff to do. So I'm going to get the part out of here. And I'm just going to heat it up and it comes right off and get this out of there. And there we are. There is our part. So as you can see, it is a plastic part with a metal lid and we have to get the metal lid off of there. So I put it in the vise and then cut one edge. And then I take a razor blade and I just slice off every corner going around to expose the metal lid. Surprisingly, that was the only thing holding the lid in place and it just pops right off, revealing the secrets inside. Inside we find two chips, the bigger one is the ASIC, and the smaller one is the MEMS accelerometer. The output from the MEMS accelerometer is processed by the ASIC into acceleration data, which is available digitally via SPI to an external microprocessor or controller. The ASIC is covered in some sort of goop, which makes it very hard to focus on. So unfortunately, we're not able to get a really clear picture of the entire chip, but we can see certain parts of it. Next, we're going to take a look at this MEMS accelerometer. It has a couple interesting marks on the top, like ZA and whatever these boxes are supposed to be. If we want to see the sensor inside, we have to remove the top silicon cover that is protecting the MEMS chip underneath it. So I tried a couple different methods getting into this. Ultimately, I removed the entire sensor from the other part. Uh, I tried using tweezers to remove it. I tried using a exacto as seen here to try and prime apart, uh, but none of it was really doing the job. It's They're glued together very well. 
which which makes sense you don't want stuff getting in there uh, it was no match though for the micro edge flesh cutters which made short work and there we can see our first view of the MEMS sensor on the inside. Uh, I also would like to take a note, don't do this. Uh, silicon is very dangerous, uh, especially if you get silicon slivers. So I would not recommend doing this at home. I was wearing eye protection the entire time. And uh, yeah, just would not recommend it. So I'm trying my best to remove as much of the pieces that are left as I can without damaging the uh, fragile mem structures nearby. And as you see, I failed right here and I actually destroyed a couple of the um, fingers, the comb structures on one side of the accelerometer. There you can see they are broken. So blowing off some of the debris with a little compressed air just to make things a little easier to see. Luckily the air did not just destroy these. So they're, they are somewhat robust, but they're not, uh, they're not indestructible as you can see. And they really do look very, very beautiful under the light. So how exactly do these work? There are two parts to this accelerometer. One is the fixed comb-like structure on the edges of one of the squares, and the other is a free-floating weight that also has similar comb structures that are next to the other comb structures. When the part experiences an acceleration, the weights will move, while the fixed portions remain in place. This results in a change in capacitance, which is what gets sent to the ASIC to be interpreted as an acceleration in a specific direction. Unfortunately, with all of the goop on the bottom of this part, it was not laying very flat at all. So I had to try and focus in and out to get a clearer view of the part when I'm zoomed in so close. Here we can see the broken one and where the structures are broken. Uh, I really wanted to see if I could move it. And so here, here's my first try. And yeah, what do you know? You can actually see the free floating mass move when I touch it. Uh, this is extremely delicate and very hard and it's I'm basically destroying it at this part, but uh, yeah, let me stop talking and you can just watch this part be destroyed. Well, that's it. Thanks again for joining me into a trip into the microscopic world of electronic components, and I'll see you next time.